Before we get into the video, here's a quick shout out to Oyoa.com, our sponsor. If you don't want to grind for items, runes, and you want armor real quick, then you can get it from these stalwart champions. And by using the code in the description, you can get 3% off. Remember, Guru. Greetings, Elden Ring Guru here. And today what we will do is give you a complete breakdown of the fire giant and show you his most inner weaknesses. The fire giant has 43,000 HP and you'll gain 180,000 runes when you kill him. You'll also receive the remembrance of the fire giant which can either be used to gain another 30,000 runes or given to any in round table hold in exchange for either the incantation burn o flame or the weapon giant's red braid which is a whip woven from the flame red hair of the giant. Out of all the types of physical damage, weapons with the slash type cause the most damage to him. Standard strike and pierce all deal equal amounts of damage. Out of all the elemental types of damage, lightning and magic deal the most damage, as he has no absorption for these. He does have 20% absorption for holy damage, and it'll be no surprise to hear that he absorbs 50% of all fire damage being a fire giant and all. Out of all the resistances, he is the least resistant to frostbite. So use weapons and skills with frost attacks to maximize your damage. You can only target him in two places during his first phase. His left ankle or his chest. It is his ankle that is the weakest spot. As after around 2,400 damage, the bonding around it will break away, making him suffer even more damage when hit. His moveset for phase one is as follows. He has an avalanche attack, or he uses his plate to fling a torrent of snow at you. This can be blocked at the cost of your entire stamina bar. Or you can use torrent to double jump over it. He can also use his plate from a distance to try and squash you. This can't be blocked, as the attack is directly above. You can, however, roll through it when the plate is about to hit the ground. As you move in closer, he can swing his plate side to side several times to try and catch you. You can block all of these attacks, just make sure you use a shield with 100% physical damage negation for full protection. You can use a condom out there too. When you are directly underneath him, he will try and stomp on you. These attacks are slow, so you can just move out of the way of them when he lifts his feet, or block them. Just don't be directly underneath his foot when he comes down, as you won't be able to block it then. When you are close to him, he will sometimes roll sideways to get away from you, like a coward. Another move that he has is leaping into the air and trying to squash you with his precious plate. You can't block this move, but to avoid it you have to roll through the plate as it hits the ground. You can also use his plate to roll on. You don't want to be directly in front of him when he does this, as you will take damage even if you block it. So try to stay behind him when you see him place the plate on the ground. Once you have took away some of his health, you'll ring out two fire moves. The first of which is a floating orb that moves towards you slowly. You can get rid of the orb by getting close to it, which will trigger it to explode. Roll out of the way when you trigger it so you avoid its blast radius. Whilst the orb is floating towards you, it will also shoot a fireball at you which can be dodged if timed correctly, or you can stand behind a rock or tree to protect yourself from the blast. You'll have to take around 23,000 HP from his health bar to trigger phase 2. During phase 2 you can now target him on either hand instead of his ankle or chest, which has now revealed a grotesque eye. You can fire arrows or spells into his eye to cause him extra damage, and if you manage to damage him enough quickly, you'll stagger him, leaving his eye open for a critical attack. At the start of phase two, you will fall onto his hands, leaving him open to several attacks. Once he recovers from this, you'll start to see his new moveset, one of which is the volcano, where he will lean back and spew out molten rocks into the air, which will burn your pretty face if they catch you. So you're best just running away from this one, You'll still have the orb summoning from phase one, but this time he can summon two at once. To avoid them, just get close enough to trigger their explosion, and then dodge out of the way like in phase one. The same applies to his fireballs. He'll now shoot two at you in this phase, making them harder to roll out of the way of, but it's still possible as you can see. He has several punch attacks in phase two. Best to roll through these instead of blocking them, as he will throw more than one at a time, and they can take all of your stamina bar off in one go. So if you block the first one, the second one will most certainly get you. When close to him, you can make pillars of fire shoot up from the ground. You can avoid these though by simply staying out of the way of the fire patches that you see on the floor. Another move that you will see when up close is where he will scorch the ground with fire from his mouth. So when you see him bend down low, best to run away. 
He has a shorter version of this ground burn as well, but you'll be able to easily see this one coming. As he'll grab the mouth in his chest first to open it before using it. His roll from the first phase is still here in phase two as well. He'll use it to try and create distance so he can shoot fire projectiles at you. So close the gap when he gets away. One of the best times to attack him is just after he tries to elbow you, as his recovery time from this move is long. So take advantage of it and get your hits in. Just don't stand by the inside of his elbow, as he can follow this move up with a flame blast out of his big fat mouth. If you are struggling to dodge any of these moves, you can use Torrent to help you avoid them, as if you dismount from the steed as an attack is incoming, you'll have extra eye frames to avoid getting hit. You can also summon Iron Fist Alexander to help you in the battle, but it will disable the use of Torrent for the fight, so having the mobility of the horse is probably more beneficial. And that's all you need to know about the Fire Giant to take him out. Deep down he's a giant idiot. So take advantage of all you've heard in today's lesson. Subscribe, and click the bell icon for more boss guides and a plethora of other Elden Ring content, including a rage playthrough by the other guy on the channel that sucks at games. You will love it. We got the Sword of Ice. I've got the Sword of Flame War. Die! <laughs> they didn't count on the earth and the water!